I should probably stop showing. Sit back there, stand focus. Oh my gosh, I'm blurry. My name is Blurry Face. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting knickknacks. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am finally doing a natural hair um, Q&A, which has been highly requested. Like, I can't even tell you how many people are always like, you should do a video on your hair, do a video on your hair. And I did uh, my Bantu Not Out, like, tutorial kind of thing a while ago, and I will link that in the description box. And yeah, you should check that out if you haven't already. But... Yeah, <laughs> um, I hope I answer all your questions, like I picked the general ones, so yeah, I will go into detail, detail. So yeah, this will be quite a long video than usual, but I hope you enjoy, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Okay, so first question, how long have you been natural? I've been natural my whole life, like yeah, I've never had a perm in my hair, the closest to a perm I've had is like texturizer, you know, but yeah, I've been natural my whole life, but in this journey of ta really taking care of my hair, I've been natural for two years. What products do you use? Well, 2,000 years later. There are a lot, so I will go step by step from what I use to wash my hair, condition my hair, deep condition my hair, and style my hair. The shampoo I use to wash my hair is the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco Sulfate Free Moisture and Shine Shampoo, and it looks just like this. Yep, I use this shampoo. This is actually a new one. I still have some of an old one left, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And I really love the shampoo because it really makes my hair like soft and it detangles as well so it kind of acts like a conditioner at the same time so yeah it actually does come with a conditioner like in this line but I rarely use the conditioner but it's really good <laughs> the conditioner I use is the Tresemme Naturals it looks just like so hopefully you can see it yeah and I'm almost like all out of this I have like about this much left because I use this all the time all the time like after I shampoo my hair I condition with this yeah. now what I use for my deep conditioners I usually DIY my conditioners but the store bought ones that I use are first of all this one the ORS or ORS I don't know ORS or whatever Hair mayonnaise, this stuff is the truth y'all, like this stuff is the real deal, major key, major key. <laughs> the next store bought one I use is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap, Soap Purification Mask with tea tree oil and willow bark extract, uh, it looks just like so's, yeah, just like this. This stuff is really good and it smells. <laughs> the next one is also by Shea Moisture and it's the Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask with Sea Kelp and Argan Oil. And this is like raved about all by many, many naturals. Like, my mom's had this and has me use this, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use it. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. And it's a bigger jar, I guess, yeah. But this stuff smells really good as well and it does wonders. <laughs> And then on to DIY um, hair masks that I, or deep conditioning treatments that I like. I like to mix um, the hair mayonnaise, the coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, and honey. Guys, it is amazing. It's bomb. Your hair will love you. It will love you. That's like my favorite um, deep conditioner. Yeah, okay. Let's forget English now, Nyumba. Um... What is your go-to styling product? Currently, it is this half and half hydrating silkening hair milk by Aunt Jackie's. This stuff, guys, is everything. I'm like, I got this like two months ago, and I never finished hair products like this quickly. This stuff is amazing, and it smells so good. I'm gonna say that about everything, but yeah, if you know, if you know a natural, you know their hair smells lit. Like it smells really good. But yeah, this is my go-to styling product. How do you retain length? I retain length by protective styling. 
I should say. Yeah, like by protective styling, I don't mean braiding, weaving like all the time, but a protective style is basically any style that has the ends of your hair tucked away. So the times I would go to school and stuff, I would put my hair in a bun for days on end, but then I would take it down just to re-moisturize and put it back in the bun. So for as long as your hair is tucked away, I mean the ends of your hair, like right now this is not a protective style. <laughs> for as long as the ends of your hair are tucked away, that's considered a protective style. So anything, I'll corner on my hair, um, put it in buns, you know, things like that. Yeah, that's how I've managed to retain my length. How often do you use heat on your hair? <clears throat> Rarely. Maybe once in two to three months. Like it's really, really rare. Um, how do you stretch your hair without heat? I usually, um, like after wash day, like after I washed my hair, conditioned it and all of that when it's just like kinks on kinks. What I do is I section my hair off into like tiny sections and just braid them. Like just braid them and when I braid them either in twists or just regular braids, like three strand braids. Then I pin them down with bobby pins, like I stretch them across my head from wherever they are and pin them down so that way they'll dry in a stretched way. Yeah. How do you maintain shrunken hair? I guess this means like when, after wash day when I have my twist out and whatever else style I've chosen that day. How do I maintain that style? I usually section my hair into four sections and braid those sections. Like, yeah, I don't do the bobby pin thing there because it doesn't really need to be stretched. But yeah, like it stretches on its own when it's in the braid. So yeah, that's how I maintain my shrunken hair. Person. How often do you braid your hair? Like using actual extensions? Um, every like three months, but that's because like I was in high school and my high school didn't allow us to braid our hair But now that I'm straight out of there I'm gonna be doing it more often because that's a really really good protective style How often do you wash your hair? I wash my hair usually once every two weeks, but now that my hair is kind of straight, I'm gonna procrastinate <laughs> But I have to I washed it last week. I believe yeah last week So I'm gonna wash it again next week because I'm gonna get a weave done. So yeah My favorite deep conditioner my favorite deep conditioner is my DIY deep conditioner. It is bomb guys bomb. Oh and my other um styling products, just for the record, that I use a lot are the Cantu leave-in conditioner, which is this one. This is my holy grail, guys, when it comes to leave-ins, like really creamy leave-ins. And when I do the lock method, which I kind of described in detail or showed in detail in my um, Bad to Not Out video, which again is in the description box, this stuff is, this stuff is bomb. Like, and once again, I wish y'all could smell it. <laughs> it smells amazing. This stuff was also used in the else. This stuff was also used in the lock method, and it's just the olive oil oil moisturizing hair lotion. Many people don't fancy this stuff because I don't know. Actually, I don't know why they don't fancy this stuff, but I do. It works for my hair, so yeah, I love this stuff. Another thing is the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco line, the Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff I used to use a lot before I discovered the hair milk, but it's still really good, but I just don't really use it much anymore. But you can try it, and if you like it, well and good, I recommend it. My final leave-in is the Dr. Miracles Cleanse and Condition Leave-In Conditioner, and it's sulfate-free. Yeah, this stuff smells like vanilla coffee you guys <laughs> it's like amazing and it's really really light it has like a really light consistency and my hair is quite light it's it's thick but it's light like you, i hope you understand what i'm talking about but yeah this stuff is bomb and then when it comes to my twist outs and my curls basically um like I recently did a perm rod set and I used this uh, kinky curly curling custard, this stuff. It's really, I like it, I like it a lot, yeah, definitely a major key to your defined curls. <laughs>
the final thing is any tips so any natural hair tips number one always keep your hair moisturized the lock method is the most effective way of moisturizing your hair and really keeping that moisture in and the lock method is basically a leave-in you start with the leave-in conditioner then go in with an oil and then seal with the cream which you can interchange like I do the LCO method just because like I feel an oil has to be last yeah but um, yeah make sure your hair is moisturized another thing is don't manipulate your hair a lot like don't comb it every day don't touch it all the time like all you're doing is breaking the ends of your hair because people say no my hair doesn't grow no honey your hair does grow it's just that you're not retaining the length another thing is to always make sure you seal your hair like after you moisturize it like if you decide to use this leave-in to moisturize you better seal those ends girl because mm -mm, you can use I like to use shea butter and this is my shea butter mix yes it's in the Vaseline container because you know I'm getting all like that but um, yeah it's it's raw shea butter which smells horrible yeah it smells really bad um, raw shea butter with coconut oil and extra virgin olive oil which I just mix together and let solidify this stuff is really really good in sealing because it really keeps that moisture in another oil you can use to seal is the cocoa you can't you can't miss out on the cocoa like it just has to be there and real quick because my yeah, battery, not my battery, the recording space is like at an all time minimum. On my scalp, I have like a lot of dandruff, so I just, uh, I've been recently using this Vida's hair medicine anti dandruff. Um, yeah, and I mix it with jojoba oil. Yeah, and that's what I put on my scalp. So I hope you like this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! <laughs>